Hi guys, what's up? This is Dr. Lassa Mohamed. Welcome to our online clinic. If you are new here, try to subscribe. After subscribing, click on the bell so you get updated when we drop our next video. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, today we'll be talking about something that we all know about, but we don't take it serious because we don't know what our health needs. We only know what we need and we give ourselves what we need, neglecting our health. So today we're talking about what our health needs. Now let's get straight to the video. Now, um, most people are suffering from one health condition or the other because they have, they have given their health what the health doesn't need, you understand? So now, let me just drop it down. Your health needs what is called a code red. That is code R-E-D. Now, R stands for rest, E stands for exercise, and D stands for diet. That's what your health need. Now I'll be giving you the percentage and breaking them down for you. Now, our rest, your body need a lot of rest because you have been doing stuff during the week, during the day, you have been going up, going down, doing your job, and your body also need to rest. Even um, a computer or a machine, after the work for so long, it need it also needs to rest because it gets hot and if it doesn't rest, it can it can damage some part of the system is that so that that that's um, boils down to your system also your, your body needs a lot of rest because if you don't rest there are some health issues that can um happen to your health example you can it can lead to hypertension now let's get a case study taking your heart as a case study you know even when we are sleeping your heart also um, pumps blood you understand but the rate at which is pumping when you're sleeping and the weight at which it pumps when you are um, working is different that's the rest you need because if you don't rest and you're over um, stressing yourself the heart also will get stressed up and once it gets stressed by pumping too much blood and pumping pump without resting it can lead to um high blood, high blood pressure which is hypertension and also that can also lead to stroke and other health issues and um, i'll be giving you details concerning um, hypertension and stroke in our next video you understand i'm just giving you the tips of the tip of the iceberg now um the next one is what exercise now for the rest you just need at least a 10 percent rest for the whole day it's okay for you just a 10 percent rest now you should know that resting and sleeping are not the same you understand now sleeping is normal when you sleep at night but resting is a is a time from which you have to rest when you're working that resting during when you're working why sleep is you are done for the day's activity that you are sleeping now resting is you you are, you are working but you have to rest a little then continue working and stuff so that's resting so now let's go to the next one you see code red r e e stands for what exercise your body needs a lot of exercise also yes your in terms of um, keeping your body in good shape and, and making your heart because once you do exercise your heart and um, pumps much you know that exercise is different from working or stressing you understand so there are some things you do that are exercise and things you do that are stress example you say okay you want to take a walk a walk is you can do that as an exercise but when you are taking too much work no like too much work down the street yeah was stressing yourself and not exercising yourself now excess the best exercise i said that was engage all the all the body like cycling running playing football and other stuff yeah they are good exercise to engage in excel also now for the whole day you cannot take except for what 10 percent you are good 10 percent exercise you are good to go after all, people that are um going in uh, those athletes that can have like 70 percent 70 percent and 50 percent except because what it's what they do that job you understand but you as a person i want to have a good health just in a 10 percent exercise then you are good to go then the next one is what r e d the next one is what diet now the thing is this you are what you eat your diet is what makes you if you eat good you are going to be good but if you eat wrongly you're going to be wrong you're going to be bad now the thing or the, it, it's also boils down to your health also because there are some food you eat there are some things you eat that your body doesn't need at all that you don't need to go there at all but you see take them because you don't know because you it's what you feel like taking but your body doesn't want it but your your, your mouth just needs to take it in now um your diet also leads to some um health issues example 
the other one is called the, the diabetes type 2 which is also known as what dietary diabetes now this dietary diabetes is cutting from our diet what we eat now if yeah, for example the what they call the, the food pyramid now the food pyramid is a pyramid that shows um, the food you have to eat and the percentage of the food now by the next video also i'm doing a video of what the food pyramid now the food probably say you have to take carbohydrates little carbohydrates take more protein take more what more fruit and vegetables now you take more fruit and vegetables and also take what whole grains now your whole grain should be more than the whole food you eat now whole grain should be taken for at least 50 percent now taking more whole grains means that because whole grains help in what mopping out excess cholesterol in the body and also help, 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 help in what mopping out excess carbohydrate from the body so your health is directly proportional to what your diet what you eat is what makes you so if you can eat correctly and eat good i'm very sure your body and your health will be good so just try to um take note of this code red code radar what your body needs and what put them into practice for our next video we'll be dropping videos on what the food pyramid there's um breaking down the food the types of food and how you can have them put in your what your food timetable okay so we'll be doing that now and um, thank you for your time if you like the video if you like it like the video share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can follow us on instagram at dr um underscore as -E -E dr alasa on um, youtube channel it was dr alasa yeah thank you very much and see you in our next video bye bye